Hello. How you doing? Good. Uh, What's up? Enjoying the UK? Oh yes, lovely weather. <laughs> That's what I came for. What's up everybody? Today we're in Ringwood, England for the UK's biggest airsoft event, the National Airsoft Festival. This event happens annually at Ground Zero Airsoft and is attended by roughly 3,500 players and festival goers. You might be thinking, well, that sounds like a cluster f It's surprisingly not. A lot of the attendees are simply there to camp and hang out with their friends. The airsoft game itself is continuous from about 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., so players can come on and off the field freely. When you're not on the field, you can grab yourself an ice cream, burger, pizza, or any other wide assortment of food. If you're of age and feeling extra fun, you can grab yourself a drink from the giant pub tent on site. One, let's go! Oh, that shot's sponsored by what team are you guys? Reload. Bravo, but we're Bravo team, but we're Reload, Reload team. ASG. Right. <laughs> On the field, gameplay can get a little slow. The dense foliage makes the field ideal for ghillie suit snipers and a pain in the butt to find enemies hiding in the bushes. Simply shooting through the thick forest itself is a challenge, but it can be overcome. Hey, a uh, quick question. This one. Can riflemen shoot full auto? Oh, yes, of can. Okay, cool. Progress can be made though with a little bit of teamwork and a lot of staying low. I'm right behind that unicorn booty. <laughs> I'm gonna move up and I'll cover that path. You hit? Hey, Leah. Leah. Uh, just wait for me at that crossroad. I'm just gonna go down this road and... What? I'm just gonna go down this road and then respawn with you. So what I thought was going to happen was I would move down this road, get hit, then walk back to respawn with Leah. The complete opposite happens, and it's so unbelievable that I'm not going to cut the footage up except for when the zoom camera is needed. Thanks. Bang. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't want to shoot you this close. I know you're right there. Hey. 
Delta. Oh, hey, Delta. Bang. <laughs> Your brains are all over that uh, wall. Nicely done, dude. Very nicely done. Thank you. Come on, Bronco. You just... Thanks. I'm out of here now. Hey, get into this village. It's clear. Go into the village. Go into the village. I just killed everyone in the village. Others! Go into the village. It's clear. It's clear. Hey, the village is clear. I just cleared everyone out of that village. That, that, that village with all the brown buildings is completely clear. Thanks. <laughs> I'm actually not dead, I just retreated. Has anyone seen Leah? Oh, there she is. Alright, I didn't die, I just came back. To me, the village clearing seemed like a rare occurrence where the attacker prevailed over the defenders. In all my other engagement, the defenders, who were almost always hidden in the trees, would win. I even found myself camping for extended periods of time because I either couldn't see anyone or had no way to maneuver. Camping a non-objective area is pretty lame, but at the NAF, sometimes it would be rewarded with several kills. Much, much, much later. Every airsoft game or event has a crummy moment here and there. The NAF especially is not immune to this. With 3,000 people on the field at once, there's gonna be some hurt feels. Maya, I got, I got f***ing shot in the back of the head by a friendly. Of course. But my gun is not working. Uh, all right, everyone else kind of went back. Let me just go get killed. Okay. This sucks. I hate rushing like this. Shooting over me. No, no, stop, stop. Hit others. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that kid right there. Goodbye, Blue Falcon kid. I had a good kill streak going too. I got shot in the back of the head. Hurry! <laughs> when it comes to language, even though both our countries speak English, there are still differences in how we speak versus how they speak. Huh? Yeah, do I look mad? Do I look wounded? Everyone keeps asking me if I'm all right. Like, do I look like a sad puppy? No, 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 it's the same thing. How's everything? Oh, okay, okay. Has that been happening to you too? Or people are like, are you all right? Yeah. 
Um, that's just what everybody says. No, I, I know. It's it's just yeah, that like it's that. not yeah, right? it's not clicking in my head. Yeah. So I'm just like, am I? Do I look hurt? Is there yeah. blood coming from me somewhere? That's what I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get it at first either. And I was like, oh, that's just what everybody says. Yeah, yeah. I like cheers for everything. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, the way when we say it, it sounds weird. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> it's not even a complete. <laughs> Complete words. Cheers. 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 Cheese. <laughs> I didn't say that. Cheers. Cheese. Right, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I should get. Oh, I don't have my wallet on me. I have money. Oh, you do? Okay. After we're done with this, I want ice cream. That will calm me down. Back here at the NAF Refugee Center. <laughs> Only the hungry and tired have seen the end of BB War. As for the rest of my UK experience, I really enjoyed learning about British culture, exploring London, and the Imperial War Museum, which is free to visit along with all the other museums in London, all of which you can watch on Unicorn Leah's channel. Special thanks to EG Grenade Company for making this trip possible, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. Oh, sorry, 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 you guys okay? Sorry.